I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Memorial Day decorate with me. I'm also going to be doing a fun DIY project with my Cricut Joy and I'm also going to be sharing my brand new Teddy Blake bag. I cannot wait to share it with you all. If you're new here, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you're returning girl, it's so good to see you. Let's just jump right into this video. We'll work it out, you'll see if we get in a car and drive someplace far. So before I get started in today's Decorate With Me, I want to do a quick project with my Cricut Joy. I am so grateful to Cricut for sponsoring this video, but more importantly, I wanted to address one of the biggest questions I got in my last video, which was how I, where I found that Hermes tray. Well, I found it many, many years ago. I wanted to actually remake this so you guys could learn how to do this at home. I found this tray on Amazon. I'll link it down below, it was $22. And with my Cricut Joy, I was able to find the exact permanent vinyl that I needed to make this, and it was really simple. I went on to Etsy, I downloaded the exact logo I needed for the tray and I lined it up. What I love about the Cricut Joy is it's so versatile and easy. It's so quick. It took me less than 15 minutes to make this tray. It's also super easy. I could take it anywhere. I ended up actually taking this to one of my girlfriend's houses the other day and putting their kids' initials on all of their shirts for school. It was super fun. We had a blast. I did it in a bunch of different colors and it took us literally three minutes to do each shirt. It's easy to use, easy to set up. It's great if you're into DIYing. Well, I wanted to maybe do one in my pantry. I think I told you guys in a couple of videos that just wasn't realistic for me, but I do love how Cricut Joy made it so easy for me to be versatile and express myself in my own unique way. So definitely check this out if you haven't already. Um, because of its ease of use, I have found that all of the materials that I've been using for different projects have come out perfectly. Do not be afraid of the Cricut, and if you're looking to just get started, definitely start with the Joy. It's fun to just do a bunch. I put them all on my kids' clothes. I've done this tray. I've done all their cups that when they go to school, it all has their names on them, and I just absolutely love this, highly recommend. I don't know about the Explore and other ones that they make, but I will tell you the Joy has been more than enough for our family. So to get started, I just went ahead and used the app. I put the label right on the paper where I knew it was gonna fit, and I pressed make, and that was it. Once I did that, I transferred to the transfer tape, pushed it onto the um, tray, and that's all it took. It was so perfect, it turned out better than I expected, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you trying the Cricut Joy. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? I'm absolutely shocked at the precision of this machine. It's so tiny and so perfect. I wish everything I did had this type of precision to it. It's incredible. So once the little machine is done cutting out your pattern, make sure you keep your vinyl or whatever material. They have like, I think a thousand different materials. It's amazing. They have glitter and leather and everything you could imagine. Make sure you keep it tightly wound in its case and then use their little tools that they send with the kit. You can get all kinds of different tools and use them to actually carve out. Now, I have to tell you, if you are new to Cricut, this particular logo, I would consider consider more advanced. If it's your first time using Cricut, maybe just start with something a little simple, just like the logo. The um, actual part above it with the horse and carrier, I'm telling you this, this takes a little bit of skill to be able to pull each of these little parts out and know your logos too. So I, I knew this logo well, so I knew the parts that were going to be missing, but definitely make sure that you 
um, pick something that you're comfortable with for your first time, but as you get more um, comfortable with the machine, you'll see how quick and easy this is. So once you end up moving all the parts that um, need to be removed, you can then use something called transfer tape, which basically picks up the sticker and then you're able to actually put it down permanently on any material. So once I'm done, you'll see that I'm gonna put this down on our tray. of advice I would give you is if you're starting to pull up your sticker and it's not wanting to come definitely keep pressing down with the little pressing tool to make sure it fully transfers on if it doesn't it's not going to come out right so definitely take the time to really push this sticker into the transfer tape and then once the transfer tape is on the whatever the tray or wherever you're putting it really also work that sticker into the material because in the past I've done it a couple times where I put it down on something and I didn't press it hard enough especially when it's on a cup like the kids water cups for school I didn't press it hard enough and like four weeks after I've put it through the wash and done whatever it just peels right off so definitely take the time to really press this in and make it perfect I see it in your eyes yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out this turned out so beautiful I am so excited to try this in the front room and just do something a little more bright and new and the quality of the Cricut machine I just cannot believe the precision of this machine I mean this is a tiny 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 little piece of artwork here and I'm just like blown away with its ability it never ceases to amaze me so I am going to actually trade out my old tray in the front room and I'm gonna add this with maybe like a little topiary and enjoy a little glass of wine while I decide what I'm gonna do for the front porch. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the new tray. Just living off the edge Only good times ahead So let me put a smile upon your face Okay guys, so here is everything I'm gonna be using for today. We're gonna to be decorating for Memorial Day. I'll do a little tablescape here. I'm gonna do maybe um, just a couple pillows in the living room, keep this pretty simple. I might do, I've got these really cute flags. I might hang these above where we are, like where the stove is or possibly maybe something cute there over there, I'm not sure. And then I've got, these are really cute. I'm gonna hang these on the bushes. I do every single year, same way I do for Christmas. So if you wanna see how I do it for Christmas, uh, definitely check out my Christmas front porch decorate with me. And then I've got all this bunting. I love this. Our house is white, so this looks super cute. Um, might have to get my husband to help me with that. Got this cute truck. And last year, I got a ton of stuff on Clarence last year. 
Um, this stuff was all 75 cents off from $2, so that's great. I've got this sign, which you guys have already seen. I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna add this to this on the front door, I think. I don't know, we're gonna find out. So I've got this cute thing. I'm gonna add this to a tier tray. So I'll do a tier tray with you guys today as well. With some of these, I love these. I got these at um, home, or Michael's last year. Maybe last year or two years ago, I'm not sure. And I got a bunch more of these. Also on sale, $0.75, 75 cents, um, off of $1.50. So I've got a bunch of extra napkins for this weekend. I've got our 4th of July plates. I've got these flag plates really cute and i've got a couple of these i don't know what i'm gonna do with this stuff yet i picked this up at um home goods this year for 4.99 i thought these were really cute in the bathroom and then i've got a ton of flags we'll put those all over the front and i've got some of these really cute little uh candles that i picked up from target this year these things smell so good i highly recommend these and then i got this runner i'll probably put in the kitchen and a bunch of different napkins. I have these, I just love this. This is really great quality. And then I also have a ton of napkins. I picked these up last year also on sale. I think I got these for $2. But I love um, Bless Our Home. It has a really great little 4th of July Memorial Day vibe to it. And then I got some napkins. These are uh, runners that will go on either side of the front door. I've never done this for, I do it for Christmas and ha Halloween, but I haven't done it for Memorial Day or um, Fourth of July, so I'm excited about that. And then this is all tiered tray stuff. It's gonna look so cute. And over here, these are little things we can hang either. I thought we could take this and hang it like right there. And then this is also just like a little banner, fabric banner that I thought we could hang around the house. This one's really cute. This is burlap. I'll probably hang that on the fireplace. And then these, I got about 40 of these and I thought it would be fun to add these to the front porch. So use that as the decor this year. So I've got a ton of them. There's more. So we're gonna build those and put these all over the front porch. And then I'll add these pillows. I also have my established in 1776, but I'm gonna save that one for 4th of July because it doesn't really apply to Memorial Day. And then this God Bless America, I love this banner. You know what, I actually might take this banner and add it there, that might look better. Okay, not sure yet, you guys are gonna come along with me and see what happens. Let's get started. <laughs> cleaned a bit I am going to start making all the little pieces I am going to use to decorate and I'm not going to go over the top of the front porch although I typically do for any holiday I really want to keep things quite simple this year so I'm going to use these little runners to go on the sides of the door and then I'm just going to use some of that decor to go above the front door and then put some nice pillows out and kind of call it a day but I'd really love to know down below do you decorate for Memorial Day is that something you guys like to celebrate tell me down below what you guys think about doing front porch or do you do more interior in your house how do you guys celebrate memorial day
love how fun this turned out. I'm going to add that sweet little welcome sign to the front door just to kind of bring in some of that welcomeness that I love. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of those lanterns to the front porch just to kind of close it in and make it feel a little more intimate by the front door. And then add some cute pillows and then we'll add a couple little flags to the yard and then we'll move inside. Somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another. absolutely love how simple and cute this turned out just a couple little pops in the yard and then the front porch just looks so inviting I cannot wait to fire up the barbecue and celebrate with our friends and family this Memorial Day and what makes it so much fun is this beautiful part at the top that just looks like a celebration of fireworks I absolutely love this and the little pillows I didn't go over the top if you want to check out my video from last year, I went really over the top in the yard for 4th of July, so definitely check that out if you're looking for more inspiration. But now that that's done, let's go ahead and start on our tiered tray and decorating the kitchen. wanted to change out the ties to all of the curtains downstairs you guys know I've been pretty much using the same stuff since Christmas because I had the red and the green was kind of going with the green vibes from spring and I needed a total refresh so I found this beautiful ribbon at home goods for $6.99 and I thought I would cut all of them in equal parts they all kind of looked uniform throughout the house and I'll do the front of the house the dining room and the kitchen with these Sha 
fun to add some sweet little cookies as well. I'm going to be doing one of my flag pies for you guys in one of my upcoming cook with me's but while I don't have that right now I wanted to add some cute little cookies just to kind of tie in the sweetness of the season. flag banner to this mirror and just kind of bring some antique good Memorial Day vibes to this vignette here. I think this turns out really beautiful. I've been saving you. You saved me too. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need me to? Cause I got you. And you got me too. to your heartache if you want to open your door mm, i'm feeling kind of i'm just going to add some very small finishing touches to the house i'm not going to go over the top we've got a couple more days until memorial day and i just want to kind of really keep things simple as we work our way into the 4th of July. But I wanted to save this to the end, you guys. You know I love Teddy Blake bags. And I got my last one at Christmas and work has been insane and I wanted a smaller bag to carry to work and I found the perfect bag. It is this beautiful dark green with these gold accents. I absolutely love this company. It is, it smells, feels, has the exact same quality of a real luxury handbag. I mean, it is a real luxury handbag, but it doesn't have the same prices, which I really love. And I really don't want to compromise having beautiful things for the price tag of paying, paying for the label. And I have to tell you, I couldn't be happier about this bag. I have not stopped wearing it since I got it, and I absolutely love it. If you haven't checked them out, I'll link this bag down below. And if you're looking for a good, amazing quality, handbag without the luxury prices definitely check out teddy blake i just love this bag and i hope you guys love it too mm -hmm. i will get close to your heartache if you want to open your door mm -hmm. i'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back mm -hmm. Maybe you'll make up your mind Now I'm here by your side 
you guys all enjoyed this fun video we did a little bit of decorating we did a fun DIY definitely check out the Cricut Joy I have been super nervous to even get involved with the Cricut and I have to tell you the Cricut Joy has been so much fun super easy to use and I've already done at least 50 projects with it and I'm having a blast so definitely check out the Cricut Joy I'll put a link down below of the exact machine that I use and the exact um, paper or the um, permanent vinyl that I use for this DIY and the tray and as far as all the decor I'll link everything that I have down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this fun decorate and this craft with me and I hope you guys enjoyed all this time together I have a amazing recipe coming up for you guys soon and I promise to post as much as I can in the coming days and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon bye What's wrong? Let it all out of me I can see it